The book of Deuteronomy summarizes Moses' life like this. Since then, no prophet has risen in Israel like Moses, whom the Lord knew face to face. Now, that's an amazing statement, you know, knowing God face to face. So Moses goes down this road of kind of becoming aware of God and then becoming available to him and then kind of avoiding what God wants him to do, but eventually saying, okay, Lord, you've won my heart. And then God, Moses spends the rest of his life seeking the Lord. If you read the story of Moses, it's amazing. This guy sits up on the mountain one time for six days. On the seventh day, God speaks. Most of us would last six minutes. On the seventh minute, we'd be gone. Moses, six days, waiting for God to speak, and he just sits there waiting for him and then speaks. And that's why Moses had this incredible just face-to-face -face connection, this intimate connection with God. You know, wouldn't it be great to have a relationship with God like that where you just like are so connected in that you literally almost see God's face? You know, Moses was the only guy in the Bible to actually ask to see God. And God said to him, you can't see my face, but I'll show you my, my backside. So Moses gets to see God's backside because he asks. You know, maybe it's time for us to ask more of our relationships with God. You know, what it would look like, what, what would it look like for you to actually see God face to face, to have such an intimate relationship with God that you saw his face, that you were able to touch him and hear his voice. Wow, that would be amazing. What would it look like to have a church of people that sought the Lord that much, that intimately, that we were just like moving out in the power of God?